I see two main things that we're trying to solve. One is to identify and validate new measurement methods for determining emissions from oil and natural gas facilities. And the second one is to help characterize those emissions so we can develop new and improved emission inventories for those sources to really characterize unusual events and, and different things that are going on in the oil and gas facilities. The big picture question the RFP is trying to answer is what are the emissions from a 10 mile by 10 mile area in oil and gas production areas uh, around the country? And within that general question, there's two specific problems that come up. Uh, it's logistically challenging to get a profile for over 100 sources that you might find in those large 10 mile by 10 mile areas. And many of those sources are quite difficult to, to approach and, and to, to obtain a sample from. A particular method that we think is going to be advantageous uh, through use of a drone, we equipped a drone with a 12-foot probe to ensure that the sampling location was outside of the rotor downwash zone. And we actually used that drone to approach a, a source that had an emission point more than 100 feet above the ground. And we were able to use that drone technology with conventional EPA reference methods. And that's kind of a novel approach uh, by acquiring the sample, transporting the sample through a tube to the ground and uh, using a traditional EPA reference method to characterize those emissions. So we think that approach is, is going to be quite useful in the field uh, to approach some of these oil and gas sources that are quite high in the air. This is a little different than uh, a lot of the efforts in the sector now are to use these lightweight sensors that you can actually physically mount on the drone and transmit a signal from that sensor that estimates emissions. You always have to compare those sensors against reference methods and they haven't shown to be in agreement with the reference methods that EPA requires. Our approach combines those two but it allows use of EPA reference methods by acquiring the sample and transporting it through a long tube basically and using the drone to move the endpoint of the tube around different parts of a sampling location. We were very excited about the results because we were able to, within just 20 minutes, we were able to acquire a sample from a 120 foot stack. In my previous work, uh, I've done quite a bit of sampling on utility boiler stacks and I know from experience it would have taken half a day to acquire that sample using traditional techniques which would require sending a stack testing crew up a stack, setting up equipment in the stack, acquiring the sample and we were able to do that work in only 20 minutes. So I think you know, that that's, is encouraging when the scope of the work is to go out and sample hundreds of sources within an eight-day period. We think that this technology definitely fits in well with the scope of work. It's a win-win. If we can reduce emissions from these processes, you can increase profits while reducing environmental impacts. And RTI, I think, pr provides you know, the full range of capabilities. Uh, they have a you know, experienced team in the emission, current emissions inventory. We understand the sources of, at oil and gas facilities. We understand the periodic nature, sometimes the variability. And we have the statisticians who can bring that to bear. We have sensor people who understand new sensor technologies and implement those. We have drone centers. We have that whole big team that we can bring together with experience, with knowledge and innovation.